This video is only part of an unpaid, unbiased, in-depth review from an average rider's perspective, so check out the rest in the link below at thegoodride.com. If you want real advice, fill out the Me Harmony profile in the link below so I can help you properly. And if this video helps, please consider donating or buying through our links. Thanks for watching. Welcome to The Good Ride. I'm James Beastie, and I'm here with the Air Blaster Trench Over Jacket. And I'm trying it on for you so you don't have to. But I have ridden this jacket for a whole season in the past. You'll see me in this in some old reviews with a white trench over. Uh, but they always do really cool colors with this jacket. And it hasn't changed that much since I've last tried it. But just showing you what it's like for 2023. And you can see with this fit, it's got some extra length in the arms which is good for somebody my specs because I'm a little short in the arms for a large jacket. And it's a pretty baggy feel. And I like that because I have varied specs. I have a big chest, wider shoulders, but short arms and a medium-ish torso. So it's nice to have a little extra room up here in the shoulders and not have it feel too tight. Now, when it comes to construction, you have a pretty smooth material in some places, a little more coarse right here around the shoulders for more durability, and some stronger material in some places for more durability, and then a little bit smoother material in other places to be maybe a little more stretch. Um, but what I like is this feels pretty smooth. My old trench over had a little more coarse material. So this will do a little better shedding off wet snow and rain than my old one and the older models. It's still not amazing, but it's definitely improving and I like to see that. You have just easy zippers. This was always easy on and off. There's a lot of Velcro and zip and flaps to protect the zipper because none of them are really waterproof. But that's fine at this price point. What is this like? $239. So that's a very reasonable price point. And I think the overall construction is pretty good. Now, when it comes to helmet and hood compatibility, this just sucks. It's made for people who don't wear helmets. I can't even zip it up. And that's kind of how my old one was. Can't even turn my head. It's like a straight jacket for your head, and this is a large baggy jacket with a medium Smith Maze helmet that is not very bulky. So this is best for those of you who don't wear a helmet. Getting over the gloves is pretty good. It can catch a little bit, but just a little shake will get this over. It's not a super wide cuff, but it's doable. And then if you tighten it all the way up, it's not going to be ideal for putting a glove over. It's best for a glove under, but it will hold here if that's how you wanna just cruise around. And you do have wrist gaiters that are nice and soft and stretchy. And when they're pushed up onto your wrist, they're not gonna bother you. Now let's talk pit zips. You've got nice open pit zips on both sides. So the anorak side goes all the way down, of course, but you have two zippers. And then this side stops a good bit down, and I love open pit zips. They might make the jacket look funky, but man, you can air out those pits and they can get pretty hot. Now, outer pockets, you have a little kangaroo down pocket right here that goes all the way down. It's got lots of room here. You've got a inner cell phone pocket, and let me take my S22 Ultra. Let me find it out of, I think it's the Krill bib. And it fits in there, no problem. I always have a bigger phone, and my old trench over had no problem with that. Never bounced around too much. Then you have two waist pockets with fleece, with fleece on the outer part, kind of a fuzzy fleece but still on the micro fleecy side. And then some taffeta on the inside. Feels really good in and out. And that's about it for pockets. Let me show you the powder skirt. You've got a little snap here, that's nice. 
You've got this taffeta inside liner, which I really like. I love going taffeta. And it's pretty much throughout, or you'll see this kind of like, kind of hybrid between mesh and micro fleece there. And of course you have a powder skirt and it can snap in here and be a little tighter or just sit loose. You have a little pass holder right here, but I like that you can zip it away too. I generally zip mine away. So there you go there. And overall, other than the helmet compatibility, I've always liked this jacket. This and the Brighton Pullover are two of my favorite low-cost baggy anoraks, and they're highly recommendable.